in Vim, as you may know, we can navigate to a particular symbol by firstly pressing F and then the symbol we'd like to navigate to. So for example, if on this line I would like to jump to the comma, I would have to press firstly F and then comma. And then to navigate to the next occurrence of the comma, I would have to press semicolon. But in my case it doesn't work because earlier I have remapped semicolon key, so now it is used to navigate right. And so to bring back the functionality to navigate to the next occurrence of the corresponding symbol, when using key F or key T to navigate to the symbol that is right before the symbol we would like to navigate to, I'm going to assign new mappings. And in this case I'm only going to define this mapping for normal mode and to navigate to the next occurrence of the corresponding symbol instead of using semicolon key I'm going to use single quote. So after reloading Visual Studio Code let's try it out. I'm going to search for comma on this line by pressing F and then comma. As we can see we have jumped to the first occurrence of the comma and then if I'll press single quote I will jump to the next occurrence of the comma and so on. And the same goes with searching by using T key. When I press T and then comma, as we can see you have just jumped to the previous symbol right before the comma. And by pressing single quote we will be jumping to the previous symbols that are located right before the next occurrences of comma. Moving on and for now let's try to copy this word left by pressing Y, I, W and then for example I would like to replace the word right with the text that is in the clipboard. So I would have to select this word first by pressing V, I, W and then to paste the text from the clipboard I'll press P. But then if I'm going to paste text from the clipboard once again I would get not the previously copied word which is left but the word we have just replaced. I do not prefer this behavior and I'd rather keep text in the clipboard unchanged whenever we are replacing words. So I'm going to define another mapping in here. Let's also add a helpful comment. In this case I'm going to assign this mapping only for visual mode and we are going to rebind P to act as a capital P. So now after reloading Visual Studio Code if we'll once again try to copy word left by using Y, I, W and then replace word right with the text inside the clipboard by pressing P. The text inside the clipboard will remain unchanged. So if we'll try to paste once again by pressing P we're gonna get the previously copied text which is word left instead of the word right. The next mapping I'm going to rebind will be used as a redo key. So in Vim by default to go one step back we have to press U and to go one step forward we have to press Ctrl R. But for me it's not convenient to press Ctrl R. So I prefer to assign functionality of this shortcut to key capital U. And I'm only redefining this mapping in here for normal mode. As always after we change configuration file we have to reload VS Code for the changes to take effect. And now if we'll try for example to remove these three words and then press U three times to get all these words back. And now for example I would like to go three step forward. Instead of pressing Ctrl R I can just press capital U. As we can see it works. Moving on if we'll try to use the search by pressing slash for example, let's find the word keymap. As we can see, all found words are highlighted. And in order to get rid of this highlighting, I would have to run command in the command line. As a reminder to go into command mode in Vim, we have to press colon. So to get rid of the highlighting, we have to run command no HL search. And as we can see, highlighting was removed. By running this command anytime manually, whenever we need to remove highlighting is not convenient. So I'm going to assign another mapping which is going to remove the highlighting. So we're gonna define the mapping to clear search highlighting and in this case I'm going to make this mapping work only in normal mode. And to get rid of the highlighting I'm going to use escape key. 
So as the third argument in here, we have to repeat all those actions that need to be executed to remove highlighting. So first of all, we have to enter the command mode by pressing colon, then execute the command with the name no hl search and press enter, which is a coverage return symbol. We can specify it in here like this. Once again, let's reload Visual Studio Code and search for keymap word. And now if I'd like to get rid of this highlighting, I just have to press escape. And it worked. Repository with this configuration file will be in the video description. Let's continue modifying this file in the next lesson.